What's going on, Libras? Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing your energy up in the readings, in the, in the comments. If you decide to leave a comment, I would love it and I appreciate you. Please share my video if you find anything useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you love about being an air sign, your Libra. Let me know. I would love to know. So we're going to dive into your career. we got green. All right. Green for money. So how's your money looking, awesome Libras? How is your money looking, Libra friends? How is your money looking? How is it looking? How is your money looking, Libra? We have reconciliation. Oh my gosh. So you're getting that money back. Finally, things are coming together. Things are finally aligning. So you could be in a job that you really love. You could be in a job that you're supposed to be in right now anyway. You know, things are always changing. Nothing's set in stone, especially when we do tower readings. I can say one thing today and then you can change your mind tomorrow. But for right now, it's saying things are coming together for you. Look at that. It could be that you found some good, uh, some good, you know, what's it called? A good prospect, a good employment, um, you know, a good t a team of colleagues, you know, where you guys work together. Or it can be you found a side hustle that can make you some good money. Or maybe you found that you want to be an entrepreneur and you're finally figuring out what you need to make this happen. Reconciliation coming together. Pieces falling in place. All right, let's see. What are your obstacles at this time? Libra friends, what are your obstacles? Libra, what are your obstacles when it comes to career and finances? Libra, air sign. We have soothing. Okay, so that to me is saying maybe you have a hard time relaxing. You have a hard time just sitting back and enjoying, being grateful for what you have. Maybe you're always on the run. You're always on the go. It's saying to work smarter, not harder sometimes, you know. Don't burn yourself to the ground where you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I hate this job. You don't want to burn yourself out. You want to love what you're doing. So take time to soothe, relax, and pamper yourself as well. And to enjoy what you are creating for yourself. Like, I can relate. Sometimes I get stuck in go, 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 work, 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 rinse, repeat. Okay, what else can I create next? What, what's the next thing? And then I, I, I forget to look back and be like, and, and, you know, just enjoy that I have built all this and made this money or made these friends or whatever. I made these decks, made this happen, whatever. I accomplished the goal, but then I'm thinking, oh, what's the next thing I can do to accomplish those goals? But I don't appreciate. I don't take, no, I do appreciate. I just don't take time to really sit there and be at peace and soothe myself like, wow, you know, I did all this, you know? So I think that's what you're needing. So what is your guidance, lovely friends? What is your guidance? What guidance do you need at this time when it comes to career and finances? What is your guidance? What is your guidance? I, I already gave you guidance, but maybe there's more. What other guidance do you need at this time, Libra? We have faithful. Okay, be faithful. That's the same. Stick to it. Stick. Stick with your plan. Stick with your goals. If you said you're going to do something, keep on going. Keep on doing it. If you say you're going to build an empire, you can't just say you have to do it. So stay faithful and have faith that it's going to pan out. Have faith that whatever you're putting your your your, uh, your time and effort into, you, that it's going to be something that you can look back on and say, wow, I did that? I built that? What? And you, you can pass it on to your to your 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 children, your great 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 grandchildren. It's a legacy, you know. You're leaving this be behind for those to keep on building it, for, you know, way past your your time, and and providing for their family and their family and their. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So that is your guidance, and now let's see what the potential out outcome is. What is the potential outcome for this energy, for, for Libra, when it comes to your money? What is your potential outcome? Wishes, oh my gosh, there we go. See, wishes fulfilled, wishes being granted, you doing the work and you feeling satisfied. Self-gratification, because you did this yourself. Or you maybe you did this with a team of people, but maybe it took you to really get things started. Look, for wish fulfillment, nine of cups energy for sure. So let's see, do you, let's give, out, give you some blessings. What blessings can we bestow on you, Libra friends? What blessings can we bestow on you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this one wants to pop out. Okay, blessing. Okay, so this envious card is saying a blessing on your luck, your abundance, because there might be people who may, you know, feel jealous about this energy. They might be jealous 
that you know to hear that you're going places or that your money's looking sweet and their money is not looking sweet because they're not putting in the work or they're busy f comparing themselves to you they have to you know put your put try to stop you know what's the word there's no comparisons right as long as they put in the work with you know whatever they're interested in whatever whatever they're, they're trying to do for themselves if they stay focused if they stop comparing and stop looking at what you're doing and focus on what they need to do you know what what bigger tasks do they have at hand that they really need to, to put their hands in or um, devote their attention and you know uh, um, efforts into if they want to look at you maybe they can look at you as you know inspiration but not like oh why is she doing it no that's that's you know a blessing on you con continuing to grow to gr you know grow your your business or put in those hours and stay focused don't care about the naysayers or the haters if you have people asking for your money asking or giving you the side eye just stay don't care about that try not to care about that stay focused you know keep 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 on your you know stay on your path because you have bigger things to accomplish my friend all right stay in your high vibration okay what other blessing can i bestow on you we have Anti-social, I find comfort in my own solitude. So maybe this is saying to keep your money closer. Maybe this is saying to keep your, um, what's it called? Keep your, keep things to yourself. Anti-social, keeping your plans, your ideas, your secrets, your business tips, your business ideas to yourself. Your, um, whatever you wish to accomplish, keep it to yourself. And then once you have accomplished it and now you can share it, then that's when you start promoting it and then that's when you start, you know, opening your mouth about it. But for right now, just keep things under wraps, just, you know, so you don't have anybody raining on your parade or taking your ideas. And last piece of blessing here, a blessing on keeping your social circle closer. Not saying to not have any friends, but keep it closer. All right, let's see. What is your blessing? Last blessing is... Turning boredom into beauty. So if you're feeling like there's a little bit of stagnancy in your business or your efforts, try switching it up a bit. You know, uh, if you're like, let's say you're trying to advertise and promote your products, but nothing's happening. Try doing, uh, you know, paid promotions. Try reaching out to video influencers who can, who have lots of subscribers who can help you spread the word on your products or your services or whatever, what have you. And um, yeah, broaden your, your horizons. If you're selling on eBay, how about Amazon and Etsy? How about, um, is there such thing as Yahoo Shopping anymore? I don't even know, but, or Posh or um, Shopify, those little, you know, platforms that you can try to market your stuff to. So it's expand and turn boredom, turn the mundane into something fun. You know, like if you have to package orders, put some music, put some, you know, sage or palo santo, put some essential oils, you know, do some aroma aromatherapy with your music, you know, get your family in on it and have fun, do like a little dance party while you're doing your orders, whatever you need to do and get this, get this going, okay? Get this ship sailing. You got this, Libra. That's all I got to tell you. You got this. Thank you so much. Hope you love the greens. This is my Feelings and Boom Oracle. If you're interested, I have um, decks for sale on my Etsy and eBay. Buy any two, get $10 off with free USA shipping. I'll see you later. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar if you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going. The energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for your support.